The general public sees the mining industry as being a dirty industry, a poor steward of the environment and a poor steward of the communities in which it works. This is somewhat unjust. Mining for the future is essential. We really need these metals. We need them to drive the energy transition. We need them just to support the population growth that we're seeing around the world. The contribution of mining to everyday life is all around us. If our iPhone makes a, a noise on an alarm, that iPhone is a result of the mining industry. It's got minerals in it, it's got commodity in it. It's everywhere around us. So it's very important to the contribution of society, how we bring other societies along with us. So everything we touch, from the moment we wake up to the moment we sleep, has had the mining industry somewhere involved in it. Senko is a multidisciplinary service provider to the mining industry. We started the company in 1991 in Brisbane, Australia. Asenko has always been a leader. For the last 30 years that we've been in business, we've been leading the industry in terms of being early adopters of new technologies and new approaches. We're never scared to be the first to manage risk, to put new approaches into our projects to generate better outcomes. The mining industry is facing a lot of challenges. The world has increased demand for lots of metals and battery metals in particular required to help decarbonise the world. One of the big problems and challenges we're facing is that the grades of those metals, which is the concentration of them in the ground, is dropping. In the last 30 years, the concentration of those metals has dropped by about 30 to 40 per cent. That means we need to mine a lot more material to be able to recover those metals. At the same time, the demand for those commodities is increasing to produce batteries and, and, and other things required for decarbonisation. So to produce metal out of rocks, we typically have to grind them up into small sizes to allow us to separate the particles we want from the ones we don't. And new initiatives are allowing us to minimise the amount of grinding that we have to do. So instead of having our process waste as a, as a fine mud, we're able to produce more of a sand. And what that does is it means it reduces our energy consumption by at least 30%, reduces our water consumption by a similar amount, and completely changes the way that the processed waste is stored and it minimises the footprint and the impact on all the local communities. We've always been about making our land disturbance in the mines that we develop small. So we don't have a big impact on the environment. That's always been the case since we started in 1991. We've always prided ourselves on being able to produce processing plants that are smaller, use less concrete, less steel, pipe, electrical cable, etc. than our competitors. Always with a smaller footprint and less land disturbance than any other people. That's always been the case and we're known for that. It's a demonstrable track record. We make sure that our engineers and scientists have the flexibility and ability to be able to express themselves. We're always asking them to seek innovation and to do things differently. We don't accept we did it last time this way, let's do it the same way again. It's how can we do it better? How can we add value to our, our client and the project and achieve within the values of who we are and our culture? Without a doubt, mining's track record hasn't been great. And we need to do a lot more as an industry to improve on that track record. We really need to gain credibility back by being great stewards, by actually promoting all of the benefits of mining within communities and making sure we're actually delivering on the promises that we make. We need to be supporting the smaller communities that we're working in as well as the broader countries that we work in as well. What's really important to us is that we have shared values with our clients and if we don't and the cultures don't line up, we generally can't work with that particular client. And We've actually said no to opportunities where we feel that that particular client isn't respecting the communities or undertaking practices that are going to impact on the environment, that local environment in particular. The important thing to understand is that the projects that we work on are near Indigenous communities and they're also in the traditional territories of Indigenous communities. So it's important to work 
with our neighbors. ASENCO aligns itself with UNDRIP, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. UNDRIP is a framework that seeks to train internally management and staff on the history of Indigenous communities and to ensure that engagement practices and policies leave lasting and meaningful impacts in the areas and the communities where we work. Our intention is that we are also there to support our clients and our communities in making sure that the development of the mining projects is a benefit for the different parts uh, that are involved in the project, that everyone receives a benefit from, from the development of a mine project. There's a few things that I find most exciting about Asenko, but probably the number one for me is people. People. The people. The people that we have. Across business lines and all over the world. We have a team of experts that are passionate about delivering solutions to our clients that at the same time engage the different stakeholders. That diversity of professionals is enriching for delivering solutions. We also have the diverse range of people in different ages and that provides us with the knowledge of very senior expertise, but also with the innovation and the ideas and the creativity that young people bring to the table. I love nothing more than seeing someone you know, at high school make the decision to enter our sector and to enter our industry, to work at our company through university, and then to graduate and, and they make their way all the way to chief technical officer, which, you know, fortunately we have some of those examples in our company today. I feel that there is a real desire of delivering projects in a different and better way. There is also a big passion in what everyone does. So I feel that passion can take us to a, a new level of engineering design in the future. Our vision for the mine of the future is that it's a mine that you never knew was there. And that all takes planning right up front to really look at how you reduce the impacted footprint of the site, how you store waste to make sure that at the end of that useful life you can actually replant trees that might have been disturbed. You can regenerate the grasses and flowers and then repopulate the fauna that was in that area before things started and, and that's the aim that we, we have when we look at every project. We're always about doing things better, quicker, lower cost and achieving a great outcome than our competitors. It's in our DNA, we wake up every day, we come to work find a better way.